Fotis Bibasis is on his way to the university where he's studying education. But as a blind man here on the streets of Thessaloniki, Greece's second largest city, he's a rather unusual sight. In Greece, it's very difficult for a disabled person to get around outside, and that's why you don't see many of them. In Greek, the name Fotis means light, and faint patches of light are all Fotis can now see, after a degenerative eye condition slowly took his sight away. So Fotis must commit directions to memory, rely on strangers for help, and navigate the dangers with his white cane along Greece's notoriously crowded streets and sidewalks. Greece lags behind many of its European Union neighbors when it comes to protecting the disabled. But in recent years, it has begun to catch up. Greece now has laws ensuring the disabled access to employment and public education. And for the blind, beeping crosswalks and grooves in the city sidewalks to guide their way. That is, when they're not blocked. Seeing eye dogs would help the most, but they're not allowed in public places. The government is trying, but it doesn't pay enough attention to what disabled people themselves say they need. Generally speaking, here in Greece, it's the government that's disabled. It can't hear, and it can't see either. But Fotis isn't waiting for the government to come up with all the answers. He's helping the University of Thessaloniki test and develop a new technology that could revolutionize the way blind people get around Greece. Smart Eyes, as it's called, is a voice-activated cell phone. Computer and GPS system, all rolled into one. We're going along with Fotis to visit a friend in downtown Thessaloniki. First, he tells Smart Eyes where he wants to go. And Smart Eyes talks back. Packed with detailed information about the streets and sidewalks, ongoing road work, and public transportation systems, Smart Eyes then maps out a route, the fastest, most direct route, or the safest route, with good sidewalks and lighting so other people can see him. Smart Eyes GPS system tracks Fotis location along the way and can find stores and services if he needs something. The great thing about Smart Eyes is that before I used it, I had to depend on someone to tell me where I was when I was in an area I didn't know. And sometimes there was no one to ask. Now I know exactly where I am at any given moment, without needing anyone to tell me. Dr. Leontios Hagileontiadis leads the Smart Eyes development team at the University of Thessaloniki. The idea is uh, how technology can be used in order to overcome the problems of everyday life, and uh, especially when they move around the city, which is something that uh, helps them to socialize, to be a part of the community, and at the same time uh, to feel more uh, uh, confident for themselves. You won't find Smart Eyes on the store shelves just yet. The team is working out the final kinks, looking for ways to bring it to mass market with corporate partners. One thing Smart Eyes can't do is foresee all the unexpected obstacles. Fotis has to get past those himself. But Smart Eyes, he says, gives him independence and hope that its success will spur other inventors to focus their work on the disabled too. The disabled have to learn that their disability does not exclude them from society. They can do all sorts of things and just need to develop different ways of doing them. For World Focus, I'm Megan Thompson in Thessaloniki, Greece.